To connect IntelliJ to a Blackmagic camera using LANK, you have to follow a few easy steps. But before I show you those steps, I have here an already configured setup and this should be used as a reference to know when your camera and your IntelliJ are properly set. We are using a three position switch here as a function selector or otherwise called a master channel. You see the LED on IntelliJ changing its color. The color indicates the selected function. Blue color right now indicates aperture and as I move this slider here, you can see aperture changing to lower or higher values depending on how we rotate the slider. Now let's move to the focus racking. This is indicated by the red color. We have two objects in front of our camera. You see the focus is now on the object in front and let's move it further. You can see how smooth the focus can be. Please note that this depends on how compatible your lens is with the, the camera. So some lenses might perform better than, uh, than others. And there are other functionality as well. I will only show the most important one, which is starting and stopping recording, of course. So this is how a properly configured setup should, uh, should work. We have here two LANK cables. They are quite similar in the fact that they both have a standard servo plug at one end and a 2.5 mm stereo jack at the other end. But we prefer this one here because this is a very soft cable and if your camera is being mounted on a gimbal, you don't want the, the cable to affect the performance of your gimbal. Also, this one is properly color coded, which prevents us from doing any wrong connections. You see this one has two black wires and one red. It's not really useful. So, we prefer the color-coded one and we prefer to have it as uh, soft as possible. This end, the servo plug end, goes to IntelliJ and goes like this. Please make sure that the signal wire goes to the signal pin, that the LAN power wire goes to the power pin and that the ground wire goes to, to ground. The other end will be of course connected to the camera Every camera has a remote port such as uh, this one. It is very important that you do not power on your camera before you make the connection. So always make the connections first and then power the camera because otherwise you risk damaging the camera since this type of connectivity here is not really safe to plug while power is on. And before you power on the camera, make absolutely sure that your wiring is uh, absolutely uh, correct. To indicate the fact that you are going to use a LANK camera, once you have finished the input calibration, you will have the option of selecting the type of camera, which in this case is Blackmagic, and the type of connectivity, which is uh, LANK. After you have configured the type of camera and connectivity, you are free to go and edit your mappings, which will be covered in the next video.